weekend, a new six-episode thriller will premiere on Showtime. It's called The Woman in the Wall, and you can watch it tonight if you have Paramount+. Plus. Here with us today, we have the stars of the show, Ruth Wilson and Daryl McCormick. Welcome, you guys, to CBS Detroit Mornings. Morning. Good Looks morning. Hey, that trailer looks intense, to say the least. I got some goosebumps. What one word would you use to describe this series? Mashup. Genre. Surprising. <laughs> yeah. I love that. Love that. All right, Ruth, you are no stranger to thrillers. You starred in Dark River a few years back. How was it preparing for this project? And do you just tend to gravitate to these more serious, suspenseful roles? Yeah. Um, I think what drew me to this particular project was that at the heart of it is a really important story to get out there about these mother and baby homes and institutions that it took place in um, Irish history. Um, but what I also loved about it was the mashup of these genres inside it. So it's a gothic horror, it's a murder mystery, um, and it's and it's compelling for that reason. And it's got a black comedy throughout it too. So those are the things that kind of drew me to this particular project and why I wanted to take it on. And the character of Lorna is brilliant. Um, so uh, how did I prepare? I don't know. I sort of had to work on an Irish accent. I had to sort of do a deep dive into the history of these mother and baby homes. And there's lots of literature out there. Mm -hmm. um, and that was the most important thing because we wanted to serve these women's stories uh, and these survivors' stories. No wonder you chose the word mashup. Really, so many genres at play. Daryl, talk to us about your character as Detective Coleman. Yeah, Detective Coleman Akande is a young man from Dublin uh, who gets called up to this uh, case. And he is um, a young man who's born through the mother and baby system. So he is very much attached to this uh, wider institution. So for him, he's going on a murder case that becomes quite personal to him. He finds a body in Dublin that is directly correlated to a body found in Kilkenor, and that brings him down to the village of Kilkenor, where Lorna Brady becomes his prime suspect. Mm -hmm. um, but yeah. Ruth, I noticed the pillow on the couch by you. We can't see it at the moment, but uh, it says stay awake and sleepwalking is the theme in the series. If you were caught sleepwalking in real life, what we, mm -hmm. we, would we catch you two doing? Probably raiding my fridge. <laughs> Same. Relatable. How about for you, Daryl? <laughs> for me, goodness, I used to sleepwalk, actually, when I was a teenager. Did you? Um, yeah, I did. But any time I fell asleep in front of a fire, I used to start to sleepwalk. And I would come down from my bed and ask my mum if, uh, like, Superman was my uncle and random things like that. It was... <laughs> and she would, she would just say, Daryl, you're sleepwalking, go back to bed. And I would just go, yeah, okay, and then walk and go back to sleep. Oh my so you'd goodness. be caught asking if your uncle is Superman. Yeah, exactly. I must have looked up to my uncle <laughs> in my subconscious. I don't know. <laughs> I think he really manifested this series. Thank you so much for being on with us this morning. This is certainly one I'm going to watch. It's right up my alley. The Woman in the Wall on Showtime this Sunday, January 21st. You two, I know you have a media frenzy today, so thanks for taking a few minutes out with us. We appreciate it and, and hope you get some rest, some rest without sleepwalking. Yeah, thanks Thank for having you. us.